chapter today we'll discuss about lamis theorem so what lamis theorem states it states that if a body is in equilibrium condition under the influence of three concurrent forces acting on a body in a single plane then the magnitude of each force is proportional to the sign of the angle between the other two forces so suppose consider a body is there and if a body is in equilibrium state and if it is acting if it is influenced by three forces let's suppose uh, the force be p1 p2 and p3 acting here and the angle between p1 and p2 is alpha and p2 and p3 be beta and p3 and p1 be gamma so then what it says that the magnitude of each force the magnitude of this p1 p2 and p3 is proportional to the sign of the angle between the other two forces if i take p1 the magnitude of p1 is divided by the angle between these two that is p2 and p3 that is beta that is p1 by sin beta is equals to p2 by other two forces are p1 and p3 here that is uh, gamma and that means p2 by sin gamma must be equals to p3 and uh, other two forces are p1 and p2 for p3 other two forces are p1 and p2 and the angle between them is alpha then it means that p3 by sin alpha okay so it states that p1 by sin beta must be equals to p2 by sin gamma must be equals to p3 by sin alpha so let's prove it how uh, we get this one okay so for the same forces that is p1 p2 and p3 if i draw them according to their magnitudes and direction so this is p1 and here from this i can draw it like this by applying polygonal law of force system okay this is p2 and this is p3 okay so because it is equilibrium so they will join each other if it is not in equilibrium condition then the first point of the first force and last point of the last force will not be uh, meeting the same point then the if they are not meeting means the distance between them will give the resultant according to the polygonal law of forces so now uh, if i extend this one so here we get this angle as alpha uh, if i if you see this diagram okay so here this p1 and p2 is he this is also p1 direction is same and this is p2 we get alpha here and if i extend this force p2 okay so here we get this will be equals to beta and if i extend this one this will be equals to gamma so now from that uh, this is a straight line and if, we, if this is alpha and this will be 180 minus alpha similarly this will be 180 minus beta and this will be 180 minus gamma okay so you know the, if i take the triangle and if i know this is side a this is side b and this is side c and let this be alpha okay uh, and this be beta and this be gamma so applying sine rule to triangle so what we can write is a by sine opposite angle right sine alpha is equals to b by sine gamma by c by sine beta this you already studied okay so if i same apply the same here also so what i get for this force p1 opposite angle is what 180 minus beta right so i can write it like p1 by sine of 180 minus beta is equals to p2 opposite angle is this one p2 by 180 minus gamma that is sine of 180 minus gamma is equals to p3 by sine of p3 this is p3 okay this is p3 opposite angle is 180 minus alpha so we know that sine of 180 minus gamma is equals to i can write it as sine gamma okay sine of 180 minus beta i can write it as sine beta and similarly i can write a sine of 180 minus alpha equals to sine alpha now i'll substitute here so what i get p by sine beta is equals to p2 by sine gamma equals to p3 by sine alpha so this is what the lamis theorem states thank you